Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can't say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind his beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the Ladies particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find the Bruce Buffer. event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Paris, France, boom, boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Let your hands go. Body attack and it's blocked. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Connect 
strikes there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Watch knees to the body. Huge block there. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Flush right hand is true. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Still nice body kick land. Oh, good kicks. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big and kick. Is all about that left kick to the body. Nice punch, man. Oh! Oh! Right hand upstairs. Final seconds here. Round two straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Massive head kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Goes back to that left kick once again. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice jab. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Man, that cut has really opened up. Blocks the shot. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Misses again with a right punch. Engage in a single collar tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spot 
to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Head kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, huge block! Just misses with the right hook. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Hands up, hands up. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Liver kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Punch over the top. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Don't be stupid. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Maybe. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Good corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect 
on a high volume of strikes here. Nice kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out! Oh, big head kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, blood pouring out of that eyebrow now. That shot opened him up. Big head kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. And they separate. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Over and over, he landed with a big body kick. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready? Ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And they separate. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that spot in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage... Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Pop that jab first. 
Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Able to check that kick as well. Caught the kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Wow. Twenty. Whoa! Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. What else can you say? But what a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking, and that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Iron! Right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight